What if I told you that you can't stop your thoughts, but you can give them less power? Last week I was asked about tools that I've used in the pole vault that I've learned through depression. I didn't really talk about it and I said I would this week, so that's what this vlog is going to be about. It should help you with everyday life, not just pole vault or not just depression, but a whole new perspective. So. Let's see what happens. P.S. It's freezing cold in my room. That's why I'm wearing a hat. And a sweatshirt. Just don't judge. Okay. Okay, so the, for the first, like, 17 years of the depression that I had, I spent every waking moment trying to stop my thoughts. Because I thought... Thoughts were the root of what was causing it. Because I was having bad, disgusting, like, mean thoughts. I was just judging them. They're bad, so I was trying to stop them. Anyone who has kind of been there with whether it's depression or something else kind of realizes that it doesn't work. You can't stop them. You usually you go something like this. Okay, stop thinking that you suck. Stop thinking you can't do anything. Okay, 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 okay. Stop thinking that you're worthless. Ah, I can't do it! I suck! I can't do anything! I'm worthless! So it usually just makes things worse. You realize you can't do it and then you feel even more like a failure. It's kind of, it's kind of how it goes. So what do you do? So this will mess with your head. What if you are not your thoughts or your feelings? You are who experiences those. Let's try that again. You are not your thoughts or your feelings. You are who experiences them. Sean, I have no idea what you're talking about. You are crazy and my brain hurts. Just leave me alone. Here's how I usually explain it to people when I try and explain this whole idea is that your thoughts are kind of like a TV station. You can only watch one channel at a time. Just like you can only really be aware of one thought of it at a time. You can't really think two different things at once. And if you feel like you are, it's actually jumping back and forth, one thought to the other, thought to the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So now, sometimes something scary is on TV and you feel scared. Sometimes something is sad on TV and you feel really sad. Sometimes one of the channels might be funny and you're laughing. I swallowed a big June bug when we were driving. I'm not really hungry. Yeah, well, I'm starving. Oh, geez, look at the butt on that. Yeah, he must work out. Sometimes it's something you like. San Diego, which of course in German means a whale's vagina. And sometimes it's something you don't like. Take her to the moon for me. But what always stays true is that there's always something on TV, right? The station's always running. Now, think of a time when you were watching TV and you got sucked in and you just felt like you were part of it. Usually this happens in scary movies where like things get tight and you kind of, and then something scares you, you go, You're scared, right? <laughs> so then usually what happens, you get scared and you look around and you realize you're not getting chased by a dinosaur anymore. That was just the movie Jurassic Park, but Probably the first time you watched it, if you were in a dark area, you honestly felt like you are getting chased by a velociraptor. Because that's scary stuff right there. But you weren't. You were just watching TV. So the same thing happens with thoughts. The more thoughts you have, you start to watch that TV station so long, and you start to feel like you are that thought. Like, that is who you are. But I fundamentally believe, and I've become very aware of this, that you are not your thoughts. You can have all sorts of crazy thoughts, and um, you are not any of them. You're just the thing that is aware of those thoughts. You're not gonna like this, but every single thought in your brain is delusional. That's gonna mess with your brain. You're gonna be like, I don't believe you, Sean. But good, bad, ugly, sad, they're all just channels. They're all just channels flipping through your mind. So from a pole vault perspective, let's say you go to a big meet, what kind of thoughts do you have? Oh my God, what if I miss this bar? What if I make it? What if I don't do this? What if I don't do that? What if... They're all just thoughts. Really is what happens is- You, you... have a pole in your hand. <laughs> And you're in a pole vault, probably. You don't even know, you could run away. <laughs> There's a lot of options. But what are your thoughts doing? Depression, what's it doing too? It's probably like, I suck, why can't I do this? What's wrong with me? God, if you're happy, everything is great and nothing can hurt me. Blah, blah, blah. They're all just thoughts. They're all just thoughts. They're all just channels. Taking a big step back, looking at your thoughts objectively. Then you have the choice to just watch it or to let it just play in the background. The thought's gonna be there either way, but you, the awareness, has the power to focus on it and really focus on it and become aware of it and get chased by dinosaurs. Or step back and be like, ooh, there's a movie I'm watching, not I am being chased by dinosaurs. It's just Jurassic Park. I'm being chased by dinosaurs. See the difference? 
And then having that like tweak changes everything. It changes your whole outlook on everything going on in your mind. So if you know somebody with depression or you have been diagnosed with depression or something like that, some people talk about having running thoughts and that's when the channels you don't see a bunch of thoughts out once, it's just channel, 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 they're constantly flipping and all sorts of things are just going through a lot of different thoughts. Some people, like, see a thought and then they start it over and go through it again, and then look, rewind it, go through it again, rewind it, go through it again, rewind it, go through it again, and then constantly, they're always trying to find something different. Well, this is called ruminating and I have a really bad time with this and this has helped me kind of catch it. It's like, hey, I'm just looking at the same thought, let's step back. All right, I'm not that thought. You kind of get sucked into it. So that's kind of what happens with depression a lot of times. So this whole idea won't help everyone, but this is the biggest thing that has helped me with depression and pole vault training. If I have a good day or a bad day, I try and just say, hey, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just what it is. It was exactly what it is. <laughs> and try not to get too excited. And I've gotten a lot of comments that when I got like second at the US Championship, so I made the bar and I didn't freak out or do anything. I was just... <laughs> and that's kind of why that happened, in case you guys are wondering. So I always try and look at my thoughts like they're just movies or shows. And it's kind of true, because if you think of a movie or a show, that's just somebody else's imagination that someone has turned into um, cinematography, right? So it just took their imagination and made it so you could see it. So why do you believe everything that's going on in your head when you could just put that in movie form too? <laughs> you know, it's, when you think of it like that, it really kind of changes everything. But you are is what watches your thoughts. You are is what watch. You are watching TV. Does that make sense? I hope I didn't lose you. This is kind of weird to think about. All right, last thing, then I'll get out of here. Um, I'll talk more about this later since this is getting a little long. I keep getting a lot of questions, especially lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Christmas or Thanksgiving time, but people asking for help, and they're kind of scared of asking for help, of, of getting judged, and they don't really know how to go about it because some people asked for help from some people, and they thought they were faking it, and that's... That's depression bullshit 101 <laughs> right there. Best thing you can do is just be honest. Like I said, find someone you trust, a teacher, a friend, um, a parent, a family member, a, what, a priest, I don't know if you're religious, whatever you guys can find. Someone you trust that's not gonna judge you. You can even contact me. I'll be more than happy to talk to everyone. That's why I kind of make these because uh, I wish I could have had some help in the past and I feel like I'm in a position to help. So I'll never judge. This is the hardest thing. Let's say you do ask for help and someone does judge you. This is hard to look at it this way, but just remember, then you've just learned that that person isn't someone who can help you at that moment. And you just keep looking. Because there is people who can help out there. And you can get through this, because I have multiple times. <laughs> Sometimes I slide back in, but that's why I'm doing all this right now. So, all right, that's it. Oh, but I never answered how you watch your thoughts. Meditation has helped me more than anything. By meditating, I can be aware of when it's a thought versus when it's a feeling, whether it's um, something else. You're just aware of how to focus on something and how to step back. I'll talk more about that later too. Um, yeah, stay awesome. Thanks for everyone who got Team Hoot stuff and um, workouts and stuff. I hope you guys like them. I will get those shipped out as soon as I can. It's so scary! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! So, I've had this ongoing battle with depression since I was in second grade. I don't know why that was so hard. That wasn't that bad. So I made these vlogs to tell my story, and a big chunk of my story has been this battle I've been having with depression for ever since since grade school, second grade. And it's a very large Part of my story and I've kept it hidden for a very long time uh, for a few reasons the depression stigma still haunts me <laughs> why is he such a Debbie Downer or like a negative Nancy depression's just made up just don't be depressed